Hello, welcome to our September 2021 edition of our monthly market update. So um, one of the most common questions I get asked is how is the real estate market? So we're gonna be talking about some very hyper local Denver Metro stats for us. And then we're actually gonna go a little bit nationally and give you some stats there too. So as you can see here, um, our average days on the market are actually down. Um, despite what we've been seeing um, in the news about the market cooling, we actually have uh, 10 less, uh, we're down to 10 days average on the market in single family homes. Um, our inventory is still down as well, and that's at 25% lower than it was last year this same time. And so that would have been after the pent up demand from the pandemic last year, and everyone kind of being super excited to get back out there and uh, do some home shopping. So we are, we're still doing really well on those things. Um, it would do us very well to have more listings come on the market. I mean, um, you'll see here, I have a little note that doesn't it sound better to move when it's nice and 65 degrees outside instead of in the scorching heat of the summer in the 90 degrees. So uh, anyway, uh, statistically for me, um, October has been a very big sale month. So if you are, uh, still toying with the idea of putting your house on the market, it is definitely still a great time. Our market continues to remain strong, usually um, until the week of Thanksgiving. Now this is a, an after pandemic and we're all kind of changing all of our guidelines and, and reevaluating everything, but statistically that's the way it's been. Um, so our active listings, you can see here, they are actually down 34.83%. That is significant. Um, so again, I've said it before, we are having a, a buyer surplus, not an inventory shortage necessarily, um, even though we do have less homes this year than we had last year, we have so many more buyers on the market. Um, if you'd like to hear all the details on that, that's probably made for another conversation. I'd be glad to chat with you about that. But basically, we are, are living in a very unique time in our nation and in our world and uh, millennials being the largest demographic are finally coming to the age where they're ready to buy their homes. And they've been living with people at, who have had COVID or not and, and cooped up for the last couple of years and uh, ready to get out there and buy some homes. So um, that in addition to the wealth transfer that's been happening, those baby boomers, we've been seeing them gifting these millennials with uh, money to buy their first homes. And so that's definitely helped fuel that end of the market as well. And then um, the, the, the boomers are actually, we've been seeing them relocate to be closer to family. So in case of something where they need to be locked in their houses, they do, do still have access to, to the outside world, if you will. Um, but our average sold price um, year over year, so this is August over August of 2020 over 2021, is up 14.26% and the average sale price just when you thought it couldn't get any higher. Our average single family sales price in Denver Metro is 614,577. So uh, that's definitely a significant increase. You'll see all this information down below in the email that is attached. And then there's some additional information that we compile in our offices, uh, specifically to the luxury market. And, um, and there's also kind of a shoulder market between the, the first time buyer-ish range and we have a, a middle section there that's called the signature market. So there's some additional information there. Um, okay, well, let's look at, at this. So um, it's not the white hot market from earlier in the year, and it's not 2020 market uh, benefiting from a wave of pent up demand, but make no mistake, this is still a hot housing market. Um, purchase applications have slowed modestly week over week, but still remain above the 2019 levels, the strongest in the whole decade. So that is from CoreLogic's deputy chief economist. So someone we uh, respect in the real estate industry for sure. And so if we take that information and then we look at our last five years, 2017 um, to 2021, you can see that our actual monthly listings are significantly down over um, this one here is 2020 and look at where they were in 2017 and 2018 and 2019. So they have um, just been dropping and dropping and do you think our population has dropped and dropped? 
No, it definitely has not been going down. Our population has gone up, if anything, the last five years especially. So we have that dynamic. And then, of course, we have these mortgage interest rates. And um, here's our Buyer's purchasing power. I think this is the biggest thing that everyone and all the economists are talking about now. Um, the way the housing market would cool a little bit more is if the interest rates were to go up. And uh, I think this is really helpful for those of you that are thinking about buying and you're wondering, should I get my feet wet now or um, do I wait till next year? Well, here's what happens. If um, if you're currently approved, let's let's just use the $400,000 number and be realistic in our market. If you're currently approved for $400,000 and you're at a 2.75% interest rate, your monthly payment is $1,633. However, if that goes up just a quarter point, then you've got $50 more, right? And then here's another quarter, so a total of a half a point higher. And it's about $90 higher if the interest rates go, again, half a point higher. So that said, if you compound this with these interest rates that are set to go up, and they have, you'll see on my next chart, and then you compound, compound that with someone deciding to wait until next summer with whatever appreciation we're going to see in this next year, it could definitely price them out of the market. So um, I highly encourage you, if you're a buyer, to, to get out there. And there are some creative things that we've been working out with um, landlords since they can usually re-rent your place pretty quickly um, in this market. I would tell you it's it's a great time to, to, to buy your first home or buy another home and trade up. And I know I'm a realtor and people think I say that all the time, but if you look at these numbers, if this goes up, if it went up a whole point, look at how much your mortgage would go up from 1633 to 1852. That is significant. And it's only interest. It's not like you're paying anything additional down on your principal. So there you have it. Um, so my last graph here, this is what mortgage rate projections are right now. So currently, fourth quarter, uh, 2021, we have Freddie Mac is anticipating it to be at 3.4, Fannie at 2.9, MBA at 3.3, and NAR 3.3. The average of all four is somewhere around 3.2. Well, if you looked at our other slide, that I don't have up here, I apologize. We are quite a bit below that right now. And so um, this definitely forecasts the interest rates going up. And then if you look into the first quarter and the second quarter and by third quarter next year, they're anticipating those to be you know, roughly half a point higher. So um, in that third quarter uh, starts in, um, <laughs> totally lost my train of thought. Third quarter next year, of course, is July, August, September. So that is when most people will be putting off to buy a new home is next year when it's hot and out. But not you, because you're going to be smart enough to look into this now so that you don't have to worry about these interest rates. We still have an amazing, strong economy, and you're not going to be in a bad situation if you uh, purchase a house soon. Um, that said, my, my next biggest question besides how's the market is what do I do when I sell my house? Where do I go? Well, um, we also have some creative things that we do to help people find inventory. Uh, well, to make inventory for our clients in specific neighborhoods or uh, specific types of homes that they're interested in. So uh, we definitely have ways to fulfill that need. And uh, we also have some uh, fully furnished temporary housing that uh, is available um, also. So thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'm sorry this video is so long, but there's just so much information and so much misinformation right now that I wanted to get you the real scoop. Make it a great day and keep looking up.